What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team. We got ourselves a choice band Infernape squad with Life Orb Gyarados alongside with it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. So I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But like I said, we we're rocking out with the Infernape today. And this Pokemon was highly requested and it is really good all around. But we decided to give it the choice ban just so we can show off the power of this Pokemon. But let's get started with this team summary over here. Like I said, choice ban as this thing's item. Jolly nature. So we get that little speed boost and that special attack decrease because we're not using special attack evs are fully bulked out in attack and speed a little bit in hp the rest of the four but those ones don't matter things just here to hit hard and outspeed pokemon with the ability iron fist if you guys do not know what iron fist does it powers up all punching type moves so fire punch thunder punch close combat any punch ice punch all that is going to get a boost in damage and speaking of punching moves we came in clutch with them we got thunder punch for coverage fire punch for stab close combat for stab and then u-turn is our only non-punching move but it is used to pivot out when we do not like where we are sitting in the battle say we come in and we have a choice band we're kind of sitting here like hey i don't really like where i'm at let me u-turn out and save my choice band moves for another time so i really do like this move set it's been working really well for me and i've been picking up some big damage ko's with it Next Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Gyarados, another great physical attacker for the squad, has Intimidate ability, and is rocking a Life Orb as its item. We got the Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up and protect for its moveset, and this thing's EVs is the exact same as that Infernape. We got the attack buff, we got the speed buff, and this thing is also Jolly Natures for that special attack drop, and that speed buff as well. And did I go over anything? It is Jolly Nature, like I said. Everything is good with Gyarados, this Pokemon rocks out, and its abilities intimidate, so it's just phenomenal in this game. Next Pokemon, we got Rotom Wash over here, and a lot of you guys are used to me using Rotom Wash as a great special attacker, but in this case, we are using him as a defense bulk. He's super, super good on the defensive side, special defense or defense, whichever one you want to build him. We decided to go defense here. We gave it the HP in this EVs, a lot in its defense EVs, and then the rest in its speed, so it can actually outspeed a few Pokemon. This thing's nature is, I believe it's bold? Yeah, it is bold with the attack drop and the defense buff. So again, we're just going to be able to soak up a bunch of physical attackers. And then this thing is rocking a moveset of Hydro Pump, Volt Switch for stab and to pivot out with a whisk for those burns on the physical attackers and protect as our final move. His item is going to be leftover. So at the end of every, end of every single turn, he can actually recover some HP. Next Pokemon, fourth guy on our squad is Tokus. Cannot go wrong with Tokus. So good in this format. All around an absolute beast. Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Protect, Follow Me. Fairly normal moveset for Tokus. EVs are kind of spread out all around. A little bit in HP, a lot in special attack and speed, and then a little bit in that defensive slot. This thing is a timid nature to give it that speed boost, and obviously the item that we are rocking is going to be the scope lens because we do have super luck on this Pokemon. So most of our moves are going to crit and do a high amount of damage. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our modest Heatran over here. Great special attacker and really good at defending Tokus because Tokus is so good in this format. This thing has the EVs and HP and special attack and just a tad bit in speed so we can outspeed a few Pokemon. Moveset is going to be Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Protect, and Taunt for those support Pokemon. A lot of people were asking me when I was using this team on stream, it's like, yo, Jeans, why are you rocking Taunt with Heatran? It actually work, works really well. It throws a lot of people off, and people don't expect it. So you can just come in there, taunt some support mods, get rolling, and then deal some big damage with this huge special attacker. The item we are holding for this Pokemon is the Shuka Berry, so ground moves will not one-tap us. Final Pokemon on the squad is Weavile over here. And I originally used this team with Sableye, but I didn't really like it. So I swapped it out with Weavile and I like it a lot because Weavile is super, super good. It's super quick. It can speed control with that Icy one. It also has that fake out for flinch. And then the other two moves on this guy is going to be Ice Punch and Throat Chop, which are both stab moves. EVs on this guy is attack and speed. So we're hitting hard with this Pokemon. Got that pickpocket ability. And then the nature is going to be Jolly. Also, final thing I want to say, this thing is rocking the Focus Sash. Cannot be one tap. Gotta love it. This Pokemon hits hard, outspeeds, and speed controls the battle. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you can check it out in the description below. I will have a Pokey Pace for you guys. But without further ado, let's hop into some double battles and look to get some wins with this Choice Band Infernape team. Hopping into battle number one for today's video, rocking out with this Fernie team like we just talked about. Let's see who this guy is rocking with. Hopefully we can just dump on him, get after it with our Infernape and show him off to his fullest potential. And yes, we are totally bringing Infernape. He has three bug type Pokemon alongside with Togekiss, Charizard and Swallow over here. So I think we're totally fine rocking out with Infernape and potentially just leading Infernape. Just think, I have Thunder Punch, which is super effective to three of his flying Pokemon. 
and then I have Fire Punch, which is super effective to three of his bug Pokemon. So Infernape is definitely going to have to be a lead with this choice band. I'm really liking it. We're going to also lead it with the Weavile because Weavile dumps on a lot of these Pokemon as well. So we might have a pretty simple first battle. Let's bring Gyarados and then final Pokemon. It's got to be the Togekiss, right? It's got to be the Togekiss here. Togekiss really does rip up. Actually, I kind of want to go Heatran here. We have Flash Fire. And uh, Togekiss doesn't really do too well to bug, I don't think, right? So yeah, let's go Heatran here. Let's get Heatran up here. We showed off plenty of Togekiss and Rotom in previous battle videos. So let's show off these Pokemon. Hopefully this guy is rocking with four Pokemon doing a VGC style setup here. But let's see who he leads. He's going to end up leading Charizard and this little buggy over here. Charizard and buggy boy over here. So in this case, I'm just going to fake out the Charizard and drop a Fire Punch. That's 100% my play. I just don't think anything else is really better than that. So let's just do that. I could drop a Thunder Punch, but I really do like choosing into my uh, Fire Punch here. Can do a lot of damage. Can do a lot of damage. So let's fake out the char. Say, hey, you slow down there. We ain't letting you get a turn here. No protects come out. So that's huge. Hopefully this Volbeat is not sashed. This thing is just going to set up a sunny day here. So sunny day's out and about. And do I just icy wind after this? I mean, sunny day kind of helps us out. Makes our fire punches do a lot more damage. But later, skater, unless you're sashed. Nope. No sash over here. You're gone. Get them on out my face. Got to watch out for the solar power, dude, right here. Because we know this thing does some big old damage. Some big old damage, but our Infernape hits like a truck as well. So I'm thinking of just, uh, I think a Fire Punch might be able to take out the Charizard. I'm trying to think. We are Sash on the Weavile, so I really don't have to worry about that. He's going to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be this Swallow over here. And if I just Icy Wind and Fire Punch, I could take that out. And he brought six Pokemon, yo. What you mean? Why are you bringing six Pokemon? Get on out my face. Get out my face. This thing is going to protect. Nice little protect by him. And I am going to Icy Wind and uh, slow down some of these Pokemon here. I'm going to Icy Wind and slow down some of these Pokemon. And is this thing going to go for a Heat Wave? I think a Heat Wave is probably his best bet here. And I, I hope it doesn't take out my Infernape. I would love to have my Infernape for yet another turn here. Another turn could be huge for us. What's he going to go for? He's going to go for an Air Cutter here. And that, that will take out my Infernape. Nope, Infernape eats. Yo, gotta love it. Gotta love it. So Fire Punch is definitely going to come out here. And I think we might just throw Chop into that. Uh, oh, this thing is Guts. This thing Guts. That's pretty cool. But do we outspeed a Swallow? I'm trying to think. Do we outspeed a Swallow? Hmm. We are Jolly. I kind of want to just go into an Icy Wind just in case. But I think a Heat Wave's going to come out here and pick up the double kill. But if we can just outspeed these guys and do this, he will outspeed us. That's pretty nuts. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting him to outspeed my Weavile. That thing must be cooking. That thing must be cooking. But... Icy Wind's going to fly out here. Or what's called is 100% going to go down here. Our Weavile is going to come down to a 2v4 situation. And I'm kind of upset that he brought six Pokemon. Like, come on. We're doing BGC style stuff around here. He's going to drop the Heat Wave. And I don't really mind where we're sitting. We have our Intimidate Gyarados in the back end. And then we also have our Togekiss. And I feel like we can do a lot of work with these guys. I could read a Protect. I could definitely read a Protect. We do have speed down on these very, really fast Pokemon. So I'm digging where we're at. We just got to watch out for those facades. Facades could definitely be scary. So, what's the play here? Ice Fang into Swallow and maybe pick up the KO there? I think Heatran might outspeed this uh, Charizard too. Because isn't he minus two from double Icy Wind? Could be good. Could be good. Intimidate is going to come out here on, on uh, one of the physical attackers. Which is going to be that Swallow. And then in our case, like I said, I think just going into Ice Fang is great. And then do I Heat Wave as well? Because I think Heat Wave can take out that Charizard. I do think Heat Wave can definitely take out that Charizard in this drought. I really do like that play. So we can pick up a double kill without really taking damage. We could be sitting in a good spot here. Ice Fang comes out here. There's one kill. I'm telling you, Heatran should be able to outspeed here. Should be able to outspeed. Come on, Heatran. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Heatran. Yes, sir. Heatran better pick up the KO here. Got the drought. Everything rolling perfectly. Awesome. Dope. Get it rolling here. Get it rolling. Get that huge double KO. That puts us right back into this battle. And look at the win this 4v6. Look in the win the 4v6 could be really good. Like I said, we have the Heatran. He's going to work well up against a lot of these uh, bug Pokemon that he has. And then we have Ice Fang for all the uh, flying Pokemon. He's going to send out his uh, next Pokemon, which is going to be this Pinsir right here. And Pinsir's looking a little scary. I'm not even going to lie. Pinsir is looking a little scary. He's going to go in with these two. And in this case, I might Dragon Dance and just Heat Wave. The Dragon Dance Heat Wave... Like, Heat Wave should be able to pick up the double KO. So, kind of cool with just going into this. Let's see what his play is. Let's see what this dude's play is. 
Hmm. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a rock slide. Okay, that's fine. Gyarados doesn't take it too kindly, but we just need Heatran not to flinch here. Gyarados flinches. Heatran gets off the heat wave. This thing is rocking a berry. He is rocking a berry here. So hopefully uh, that bug goes down. Yep, one bug goes down. And now we're sitting here. And he's burned. And we get the burn. That's a huge burn there. That's a huge burn. That's a really big burn up against a physical attacker. So we'll take that all day. The harsh sunlight does fade off. And I might just protect my... Uh, I might just protect my Gyarados to go into another heat wave. Because we're going to need Gyarados here. But yo, if he would have picked four, this would have been an easy win. This would have been an easy win. But now he's rocking with Togi. And again, just protecting it is definitely my play. Protecting is 100% my play. Going into the heat wave, dealing some damage onto that, and then doubling down into the Togekiss. Because I don't think Togekiss is coming after my Heatran, right? I really don't see that happening. Let's see what he does. Rock Slide's going to pop here. Heatran, do not flinch. Don't need you to flinch here. Do not need you to flinch here. Because you soaked that up all day. That's easy for you, buddy. This thing's going to go for an Aurora Spear. And wow, this thing's rocking Aurora Spear. This thing's rocking Aurora Spear. Heat wave comes out here. Yes, connects on both. That is beautiful. We get some damage over there, and now we can Ice Fang and go into a Flash Cannon. Ice Fang and Flash Cannon. And I believe Gyarados potentially outspeeds this Togekiss, which could be big. So what is the call here? Do I Ice Fang protect, or do I just double? Or do I just double down? I think we just double down here. I think that's 100% our play call. And a 4v6 is looking good for your boy. Infernape started us off strong. Yeah, we outspeed. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. Ice Fang coming out here. Picking up that KO. Like I said, we started off strong with that Infernape. And just played our cards right and won a 4v6 double battle. Hopping into battle number two for today's video. Dominated our first battle. This guy's got a pretty cool team right here. He's got Infernape, Breloom, Glasscore, Spiritomb. And then he has Star Raptor and Feralgator. Okay, looking pretty good here. But I'm trying to think of how I should go this one. Weavile definitely is really good. Weavile counteracts on the Gliscor, the Breloom, and the Star Raptor. So I'm really digging that Pokemon. So we're going to rock out with the Weaves. And then Infernape's definitely got to come in here. But I don't want to lead that. I think Togekiss could be our other lead. Could definitely be really strong here. Super effective up against that uh, that uh, Breloom, which works out really, really well. So I am digging that. I am digging that. I think Infernape's a must. And I think Gyarados works out well here. Super effective up against uh, the Infernape, the Gliscor. And with Ice Fang, the Breloom, and the Star Raptor. So I'm liking that. Hopefully this dude picks four. Because, you know, the last battle was 4v6, which is kind of annoying. We did dominate that battle by winning the 4v6. But, granted, the guy didn't really have that good of Pokemon. And our Pokemon just counteracted him really, really hard. This guy goes to Infernape and Gliscor. And we're going to go Weavile and Togi Wogi. And Togi Wogi here. And this guy is going to pick four, which is awesome. Which is really, really good. Okay, so I'm really liking this lead. I think we just Fake Out onto Infernape because Infernape does learn Fake Out. And as much as I just want to Ice Punch onto the Gliscor, I just don't think it's the play. Because say we don't go for a Fake Out, he goes for a Fake Out, we give him Fake Out Control. I'm not liking that. But I say we just protect our lovely little Togi here. Hopefully he's going for like a Poison move or something along those lines into my uh, Togekiss. We'll see. We shall see. But we've all definitely outspeeds Infernape, so we should be able to have Fake Out Control. And then next turn we can just kind of just Ice Punch this Gliscor and just knock it down easily. Right? It's looking pretty good. And then just go into an Air Slash onto an Infernape. And then we'll have our choice band Infernape in the back with his final two Pokemon. Yo, it's looking pretty well. It's already off to a great start. It's already looking good. It's already looking good for us. We protect our Togi. We're going to end up faking out onto this lovely little Infernape. And hopefully this Gliscor is coming across here. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a U-turn. Okay, he goes for a U-turn. Never mind. Protect was a waste. We could have just dumped onto Infernape. But I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. We still have our Gyarados in the back end, which is really, really good for us really really good so in this case i just icy win i'm thinking and just air slash onto infernape probably a play right probably a play he's gonna go into spirit tomb which i'm fine with spirit tomb spirit tomb so oh yo it's shiny too that thing looks sick that thing's looking sick okay uh i think icy wind still our play let's go icy wind here slow those things down and just just air slash i could gleam but uh i think we infernape's a bigger threat so i think we just air slash and we just get rid of infernape right here right now Definitely our play. Definitely our play here. Make a move, dude. Make a move. But, yo, I've been loving Pokemon BDSP Double Battles. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you leave a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content as well. It really does. So, thank you so much for all the support that's been going out across these videos. But we got some bangers of team lineup. I'm thinking of doing a Feralgator team next. So, we'll see how that one plays out because Feralgator is sick. He's so sick. And he can learn Sword Dance and Dragon Dance. 
kind of like he's kind of like a Garrett. I think a little bit. He hits harder because he does learn short cheer force, but he doesn't have intimidate because he learns basically the same moves: waterfall, ice fang, ice punch, like swords dance, uh, dragon dance, which Garrett just learns, and then protect. Like that's what I would run on. Probably like waterfall, either ice fang or ice punch, and then dragon dance or sword dance, and then protect. If anyone's gonna mock punch, that is going to take out my Weebow. Wow. Totally forgot about the mock punch. Totally forgot about the mock punch, but I'm kind of cool with that turn because the Infernape goes down. So we go one for one here. So we do go one for one. I dig it all day. And what is Spirit Tomb going for? What is this lovely little Spirit Tomb going for? Spirit Tomb's going to go for a Shadow Ball. Okay, I'm cool with the Shadow Ball coming out. So okay, should be able to soak up pretty well here. Yeah, all day, baby. All day. Now I could go into a Dazzling Gleam. I think going into uh, Gyarados is probably our best bet here with that or with our Intimidate and saving our lovely little... Even our lovely little uh, Infernate for the back end. He's going to go back into Glasgow here, which I can just Ice Fang with. Intimidate is not going to... Oh, it does affect him. He doesn't have Hyper Cutter on. Okay, so that's really good for us. That is really good for us. So I think we just go into an Ice Fang and a Gleam. Right? Definitely a play here. The reason I'm going into Ice Fang over our Stab Waterfall is because it is four times super effective to the Glasgow. So it's just going to do more damage overall. And we might, we should be able to outspeed him, right? He can't go for his stab ground moves, which is awesome. And both our Pokemon are flying. So, I'm kind of liking where we're sitting. I'm kind of liking where we're sitting here. Spirit Tomb doesn't really pose that big of a threat. It's a cool Pokemon, but I don't think it's all that great in uh, VGC doubles. Glasgow is really good. And he's posing a little bit of a threat, but I'm hoping this Ice Fang, alongside with his Azaleem, should be able to do enough damage just to take it out. He is intimidated, though, so I don't really see him doing too much damage. Unless he's Rocket Fisher, because we know Fisher's a one-hit KO, and he can learn it. But Ice Fang comes out there. Four times super effective. Get on out my game. Get on out of here, Goliath Score. We don't want you here. We do not want you here. Dazzling Gleam is going to go all into the Spirit Tomb now. And we, I can see myself picking up a KO onto this thing now. Yes, sir. Big old crit, right? Big old crit. There it is. There it is. That's going to pretty much wrap it up. We have our Choice Band Inferno in the back. And we have two absolute monsters of Pokemon out on the field right now. So that's going to be GG's. We're going to be looking 2-0 for this video. And it's a prelim. Get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. Grass of fighting. He ain't surviving. He ain't surviving. This air slash. This air slash is going to come in here and just rip on it. And just rip on it. Battle was canceled. GG. 2-0 and o for this video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against the same opponent. He wanted a rematch. So I was just like, yo, let's run it. He actually picked a different team, which is really, really well. So we're going to get to see some few different Pokemon. He has the Bayonet on this team. Alongside with Tokus and Latias. Or Latios. But we have 30 seconds to pick. I think Weavile's a must yet again. I think we might lead Infernape as well. I think Infernape is just a really good lead and solid all around. He could bring Feralgator, who could be scary, but we do have Thunder Punch for that instance. We do have Thunder Punch. Gyarados has to come in here with a, with all the physical attackers he does have, so we are going to bring Gyarados. Then I'm thinking either Togekiss or Heatran. I just don't think Rotom really thrives here. I kind of want to go Heatran here. I just like Heatran. I just like Heatran. Even though Togekiss, I think, would be the better pick, Heatran is awesome, and I definitely want to use him again. But hopefully this guy's picking four yet again. He should, considering our first battle. He picked four. He's going to go Tokus alongside Bayonet. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. So we could end up faking out, but faking out might not even be the call here. Faking out might not even be the call. Because I think both our Pokemon do outspeed. We could just double down into Togekiss. I mean, he could go for a follow me. He could go for a follow me. I kind of want to just get rid of this bayonet. Hmm, what's the call here? What's the call here, Jeans? Throat chop in the bayonet. I think we double down into bayonet. Right? Because that thing can't be faked out. He's probably just going to be sitting there like, okay, let's go into this. I'm going to double down into bayonet here with our thunder punch and our ice punch. Just in case he goes for a follow me. Kind of covers that. He ends up using a follow me. There's that. Okay, cool. So we end up not going for that fake out, which is really, really good. I just think that would have been a waste of a turn. So we Thunder Punch here. Probably should have went to a Fire Punch. Probably would have been a little bit better for us. But Thunder Punch is going to fly through here. Be super effective. Choice Band doing some work. Doing some work. Double punching, yo. Just slapping up on thing that on that thing with Elemental Punches. He's going to go for a Trick Room. Okay, that's a pretty cool call. I do like the Trick Room call here. So I could end up swapping to Fernape, which I might look to do. But it really depends who he brings out. If he brings out a Physical Attacker, I'm going to Hard Swap to Fernape and maybe just go for a Throat Chop. And see how we play out from there. Because we still have our Sash, which is really, really good. And I would love to switch my uh, Choice Band moves on Inferni. On lovely little Inferni. So he's going to go in the Feralgator. Ooh. Feralgator might be faster. Hmm. What do I want to do? You know, let's just do this. 
Let's just swap. I just think swap is the play. We don't want like a waterfall coming in hot up against us. That's definitely scary. He knows we do have Thunder Punch, so maybe he'll protect. Maybe he'll protect. But if he goes for a water move, we're swapping to Gyarados. We will hit that thing with the Intimidate. He is physical attacking. So this could be, I just think it's an all around great swap for us. It's just all around a great swap. Get our Gyarados up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Intimidate popping. And is Bayonet physical? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I never really, you never really see that Pokemon. Physical attack drops come out here and will o -Wisp is flying. That's a tough will o -Wisp. That's a real tough will o -Wisp. That's a tough, tough will o -Wisp. We're physical Gyarados and he's just going to drop an Aqua Tail here. And that's, a, he's just, he's just playing, he's just out playing us here. So we could have stayed in here. Third chop's going to fly here. And that's just going to dump on that Pokemon. So we get rid of him and ooh, get a lucky crit. Yeah, we take those all day long. We take those all day long. And now we're kind of sitting here with our Gyarados who doesn't really do much because it's burned. But I think it was worth it just to swap out our, uh, what's it called? Our lovely little, our lovely little, what's it called? Infernape. So he has these Pokemon out on the field. We could trigger his Yachi Berry. I mean, maybe he, he has a Yachi Berry on that. We'll see. But I'm just going to go for a third chop on that. I could Waterfall. I could Waterfall, look for the flinch, but... I think triggering the berry could be good all around for us. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's just trigger the berry. Let's just trigger the berry, if anything. Frogator's going to go for a crunch. That's easy eats for my boy all day. This thing's going to go for a U-turn and probably pick up the KO, right? Yep, he picks up the KO. And it's, he doesn't even pivot because we already took out two of his Pokemon. We already took out two of his Pokemon. We're going to trigger the Yachi Berry here. That's fine by me. Because this is really the only value we're going to get out of a is hitting a Pokemon that we're four times super effective up against. So, what is our play from here now? We kind of just want to waste out these Trick Room turns. Because I feel like if we waste out these Trick Room turns, we could be sitting really good here. But I could bring in Infernape. But I think Heatran is going to be our call. I think Heatran is going to be our call. Go into an Ice Fang and probably protect this turn. Right? Because I just want to waste out these turns. I really do just want to waste out these turns. And the thing is, if these two Pokemon are on the field, I cannot Choice Band into a Thunder Punch because... I cannot hit the glide score with it. That's going to be tough. So let's just protect here. Let's drop another Ice Fang. Let's drop another Ice Fang here. I can see the Aqua Tail coming out from the Feraligator. He is minus one, which is really, really good. I could have swapped the Gyarados. Try to get off another Intimidate, but mm, I, just, I just feel like our Infernape is much DD here. So I just think using Gyarados is just like nothing because he's already burned just trying to get off as much damage as we can with him is probably your best bet for winning this battle but make a move dude this dude's taking too much time he does have two very cool pokemon out on the field love these guys love them so much i protect my heat train he's gonna go for a crunch again garrett soaks that up all day no defense drop hopefully nope no defense drop we block this does not affect us that's a great turn that's a great turn i'll take that turn all day I'll take it all day. And he hits his Feraligator. And he hits his Feraligator. He gets a crit on his Feraligator. Ice Fang pops. Does not pick up the KO because of the burn, but I, I, I like that turn all day. I like it all day. I like it all day. So we know EQ can come out here again. And we do have the we do have the Shuka Berry. So I think we just have to make sure this Pokemon goes down here, right? Wait, do we just make sure this guy goes down? Yeah, let's make sure this thing goes down. Let's double down into him. I do not see Glyceco really protecting. He goes for a crunch. And I think Gyarados eats that up again, right? All day, Gyarados. All day, baby. Flash Cannon flies through here. That's going to pretty much wrap this one up. That is going to wrap this one up with this Glyceco out. And our Infernape coming in here. He's probably sitting there like, oh, dude, this guy has, is, is looking pretty good. This guy's looking pretty good. He's, he's probably sitting here, oh, I got two I got two fire types up against two uh, or one water Pokemon. But nah, he knows we're rocking Thunder Punch. But he does not know that we're Choice Band. And we hit hard and the trick room is up <clears throat> and the trick room is up that is lovely that is lovely because infernape should be able to outspeed this pokemon now now we just go for a lovely little flash cannon pop that off and then thunder punch pretty much finishes up this battle right do not cancel it he does not cancel it thunder punch coming in hot choice ban infernape doing work for today's video awesome 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 three and oh grab ourselves that perfect record and showcasing this team to its fullest potential
great set of battles for today's video the first battle we got ourselves a nice lovely little 4v6 victory granted like i've been saying his pokemon were not that good and we had a total counter to most of his pokemon he had a bunch of bug and a bunch of flying we had ice pokemon we had fire pokemon and we had electric moves on infernate that just ripped up second battle we got that nice little victory with the 4v4 and then we rematched our opponent in the third and grabbed ourselves another victory showcasing infernate a little bit more in that battle but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody Thank you.